Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Brandon Bell. He's the Metcalf County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning. Now, Brandon, today we're going to talk about a very important topic. Anytime when you're thinking about winter feeding, and that's hay quality and hay testing. Right. Um, very, very important. Um, especially if you are going to attempt to uh, have a balanced ration. You cannot uh, balance a ration without knowing exactly how your hay is going to test because there's such a difference in hay quality. Um, a lot of people think that you might be able to look at a sample of hay and tell whether it is good or bad. Mm -hmm. But there are so many different things that make up good hay. Um, there are so many things that have to be in this hay in order for it to meet our uh, animals' nutritional needs, that we need to know what's there. Uh, if, if we've got uh, some calves up and we've got them on uh, feed, we're feeding them some, some commodities, uh, feeding them grain, we can't know exactly what we need to feed them or how much we need to feed them if we don't know how much they're getting from this hay. And you know, hay in the wintertime is a big part of our cattle's diet or any of our livestock, usually. And so knowing what is in it and what nutritional value it has is very important. It is. And we're very lucky uh, in Kentucky because the, the Department of Agriculture has a hay testing service. Now, uh, up until a few months ago, they would come out and they would pull the sample, take it back to the lab, send you the re results for $10 per lot of hay. And I mean, that, that's a whale of a deal. Um, they had uh, some people retire and did not refill those positions. They will still uh, test your hay for $10. The difference is uh, somebody, either the farmer, the agent, somebody has to pull that and submit it to the Department of Agriculture now, but it's still just $10, which is a great deal compared to some of the private labs. Absolutely. And you know, when we ha used to have Jim come out and, and test the hay, it was so simple. You just called him, he came by the farm. But if you're doing it yourself, what I know you have a probe here. What are some tips or, or how do we go about testing our hay? We need to get a good, accurate representation, just like when we're taking a soil test. We don't want to go to one spot in the field and that be it. We don't want to go to one spot in the haystack. So uh, what the Department of Agriculture used to do is they would take a minimum of four cores per lot out of four different bales or four different rolls. And four uh, will fill up this canister and that is about the amount that they need to do an accurate test. Okay, and so do you take the sample from the top of the bale, the side of the bale, or how do you do okay. that? Okay, I, obviously I couldn't bring a roll of hay here. I wish I could have, but they might not let me back on the show again. <laughs> so I brought a uh, modified square bale that I made a little bit smaller. So imagine that this is a typical oblong um, square bale, and this is the side of it. Uh -huh. We don't want to go into the side because all it's going to do is it's going to go in between the hay, in between the flakes of hay. If we go into the end, or if we go into the top, then this core sampler here will pull in hay. You just and on a larger, uh, more life-size uh, bale, you would go in um, basically uh, as far as you can until the probe bottoms out. Okay. And then you will take this tamp rod and you will tamp that hay down into this canister and then, then you'll you, will pull your, you will pull your next three and then this should be full by the time you get four and then you will dump it into a sample bag. All right, and then can they get the sample bags from the extension office or KDA or who? Um, we just typically use a, a small brown paper sack. Uh, like what you used to get your sandwich in at the at the country <laughs> store for those of you that remember that but just a basically a brown paper sandwich bag all right and then they can put that in there send it off and for ten dollars they get protein total digestible nutrients all that information about their health. relative feed value you get a, a lot of information and then if people have questions we're always there to help interpret right. those results sure. 
after the fact. Sure. All right, Brandon, we well, certainly appreciate you bringing the information. If you have hay to get tested, just call your local extension office and we can help you find a probe get the paperwork and get it sent in. If you're in need of hay, there's a Tri-County Hay Auction at the end of January and you can call one of those extension office to find out more. Thanks for watching and have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.